This is my friend Matt. Hi, Matt. We don't have like an audience to clap for you, so I'll just give you some high five right there. What's up, Matt? Thanks for joining us. Matt Triplett. Matt Triplett. Bull rider. And other crazy things. What are the other crazy things? Ice cream sundae maker. Like how do you go? How do you how do you go up from there? It's like bull rider and sometimes he wears shorts. Um, Matt, how's your day going today? Oh, uh, it's it's excellent. Yeah. Have you ever been in the trenches? Nope. Nope. First time. First time for <laughs> so good. Yeah. Matt, how did you get into bull riding? Oh, my dad rode bulls, so he kind of just passed it down to me. Uh, so, yeah, and I loved it. It's it's awesome. And uh, not you know not not just casually riding bulls. Uh, I have here on good authority. Uh, number one, you've reached at a point in your career, number one bull rider in the world. Hello. Hello. And uh, a lot of accomplishments. And you got on your first big bull at 12. Currently at this moment, ranked number 16 on the PBR. You've been in the professional circuit for seven years. That's outrageous. Gosh. Yeah, you know, it's, it's been a true blessing. But, you know, it has also had its ups, ups and downs, you know, surgeries. and mm. um, But all that ups and downs has been a plan, though, you know. I think God's uh, made me, you know, I've asked for things and made me wait, which I think when he makes someone wait, he's just telling you, I love you. Wow. Like, you know, and it might take a month, a year, two years, but when you have to wait for something, it'll be, you know, blessed back to you. Mm-hmm. And and he's just done so much for me, and it's it's been so awesome to see what he's been able to do for my for me in my life. Oh, that's a great oh, perspective. Gosh. Matt, I first met you on, we became friends on Twitter. We did. We're Twitter friends. <laughs> uh, I remember a random weekend, I saw a tweet come through about our sermon, and I clicked it, and you were a bull rider, and I you know, said, hey, and we ended up eventually becoming friends, and, and I've been with you, well, it's, been, it's probably been three years we've been friends. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I went with you to an event you were riding at. I had my eyes open. Could we get on the screen some footage? I think oh, we please. looked up some archival Come footage on, of Matt. It. Bring it. Matt, right. I just need to bring this in. For those who do not live in part of the country that you've been to a bull ride, do we have that capability? We do. So, Matt, what's oh, going on here God. exactly? <laughs> well, you know, I just, we're just getting on uh, animals that are kind of in the racehorse world. They're bred to buck, and uh, wow. these, these animals are athletes, right too. So it, it's fun to, fun to ride these things. How much does that bull weigh? Um, they're anywhere from 1,200 to 2,000 pounds. I think the biggest bull that's ever been on tour is uh, 2,400 pounds. So. <gasps> Wait, did you just say they're fun to ride? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's you right there. Okay, look at oh, there you oh go. Gosh. Thrown off. And then you run away. That's oh. good. And then, <laughs> and then yeah. you run away. Yeah. You could keep that rolling in the lower third. That's pretty good if we have yes, more of please. that. Uh, <laughs> so so that's gotta be about the longest eight seconds in the history of mankind. Oh yeah, it feels like an eternity. Uh you know, you just gotta breathe and uh just yeah, it's it's a lot of fun and it's hard though, but you have to work at everything and just like uh with anything else, you got to put time and dedication into anything you do. So, so how when you're on the bull, how does what does that look like when you breathe? You said you just have to breathe. You just like, have to are breathe. You, yeah. Are you mindful? Is that more of in the gate? Is that more in the shoots? Yeah, yeah, like in the shoots, like before then, I'm about to go. But I try to <clears throat> when the bull goes up and then kicks, I try to take deep breaths as well while he's moving to kind of interact oh, and not get out oh, of control. So, gosh. yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. We don't have to keep going the audio. That would that would. Nexus up. Okay, so you, that that boggles the mind. Deep breaths in when he kicks. Yep, yep. And then when he rises, take a deep breath in. Have you ever like held your breath when you were on the ball? Yeah, you know, usually that doesn't work out too well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I, then I you just tense up and. Yeah, yeah and lo- loose is the key. Yeah. Uh, now, when I was with you in the event, the thing that got that really impressed me was the mental preparation mm-hmm. that you're doing to get ready for that, to get geared up for that. Because for most people. The thought of getting on the bull, you might as well, you know, just ask them to jump across the Grand Canyon. It's like that isn't <laughs> going to happen. But for you to get keyed up to the place and how this intersects with I Declare War, of course, is we are, we're talking a lot about preparing your mind for action. Right. And I believe with all my heart that before a battle comes with fist, comes a battle with brain, you know. Definitely. And, and we have to be thinking right so we can live right. And whether that's as a, um, a soccer mom or stockbroker or a pastor or a skateboarder or whatever it is, it's, it's thoughts that lead to actions. So, you know, kind of speak to that. What helps you in your pregame, getting your mind right, all of that? You know, uh, to kind of go about how you just asked that question too, like I know when sometimes uh, when I go off the path, uh, I'll get hurt. I'll have surgeries and things when, you know, and then when I come back, 
and I'm living life right and how I'm supposed to and staying on course and things get put in the place for you and it's just truly awesome. But how to get ready for an event, you know, is, is really just making your mind focused and, you know, praying, hey, Lord, I'm about to get on something that could take my life, but I'm doing it because this is what you've had planned in my life. This is what you want me to do. So I appreciate you giving this for me. And it just, you know, you got to have fun and go at it. <laughs> so what you just said is key too, because you just talked about gratitude. Mm, mm. And I, I think that's uh, in the book, I talk about how um, uh, antidepressants, they release in your system the same thing they've actually proven enters your system when you say thank you. Mm. So if I say, hey, Matt, thanks for coming out today. In my body, I actually get the the effects similar to what an antidepressant would do. Yeah. So whether they're being stressed and keyed up and you know, all, all that, uh, you find if I'm thankful, yep. if I'm, if I'm keeping my mind right, mm. you, can you actually tell a difference in your writing when your mind's oh, right? Totally. A hundred percent. No questions asked. Yeah. Gosh. Okay. And <laughs> you have to tell everybody, cause of course you've told me this before, uh, but how does yoga figure into, uh, uh not just any yoga, not just any hot yoga. Hot yoga. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I think most people, when they think of the average, you know, PBR, cowboy, bull wrangler, you know, those things. Okay, the thing that I didn't anticipate was when you, when I got up, you took me up near the bulls in Colorado at that event. There's a lot of saliva and snot involved. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was just like, oh, it's like going to be a bull. No, it's like there's snot flinging <laughs> oh everywhere. God. Like when they come out of that shoot, Dang. first of all, can, can we find a, look at, maybe go on YouTube and find slow-mo footage of bull coming out of shoot because this thing comes out heaving and twisting and you're up in there and you're like poised like spider-man over the, sh the shoot what is, is it am i using the right word shoot is that the right word oh yeah yep that's okay it. you're in the shoots and the you're straddling this thing and you're who's your what's your what's your name for the dude who's like tying you in oh th those are like the stock contractors they're the animal owners Okay, so, so so it's actually the animal's owner that ties you in. Yeah, well, oh, oh, that Your ties assistant. me in. Okay, yeah. yeah, the guy who ties me in would be just my buddies that are there uh, okay. supporting me, you know. So. They don't have, like, a position? Uh, I guess rope puller. Rope puller, that sounds <laughs> Then you technical. got a spot or two because uh, those shoots are just made of metal. So if, And they could buck your leg against yeah, the side. Yeah, or if they – I had one buddy this year, uh, the bull started bucking, and the guy didn't have a good uh, spot on him. Okay, wait, look at this. Look at that bull right. coming out. Slow-mo footage. <laughs> okay. But oh. you're almost vertical when that bull's going oh, down. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. What's it called when you go like surfing they would say going over the falls? If you fall over the horns, what do they call that? Ooh. Um <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's Never not good. good. That that Never doesn't feel day. very good. What's oh. the worst way to yeah. fall off? Yeah, that's probably it. Uh one time I had a bull that was hopping and skipping and I when I went over the front we met heads and I oh. was knocked out. So, and you wear a helmet yeah, with a face mask. Definitely. A lot of the guys don't, though, right? Yeah, uh, there's a handful that don't, but now you, it's grandfathered in. So, all the kids that are 18 or probably 20 now and younger, they have to wear a helmet. So, it's, it's good. Can we talk about a rule that shouldn't have to be a rule for a second? <laughs> yeah, no, right? Okay, Seriously. do you know much about the origins of bull riding? <laughs> How did it all get started? Please tell Ooh. us. A couple farm guys sitting around and go, I, I reckon. Yeah, I think <laughs> they just, like uh, I think at a Brandon, when they're branding their cows, when they'd let them up, uh, guys would just get on the cows and they'd kind of oh just gosh. start bucking. So. <laughs> you, and where, what's the story on eight seconds? Where did that come from? Oh, I... <laughs> I need I really to know don't this. Know. That's that is a good question. I, I don't like, know. Like, is it, it of all the arbitrary second counts? Like, <laughs> you, you know, that doesn't count if it was just seven. I think seven any and seconds and on a bull is a lot of seconds on a bull. Right. <laughs> oh man. Okay. And and oh. and uh, for those who are born like me in eight in the eighties, uh, eight seconds is a movie that you think of when you. Oh look at that. Yeah, that is, is. is that Matt? Is that you, Matt? That is. That was this summer. Oh, that. Where bull. were you at? Uh, Bismarck, North Dakota. Where's your favorite place to ride bulls? Because you've ridden Madison Square Garden, lots of Las Vegas, Los Angeles. Where's uh, your favorite place to ride bulls? That's a tough one. There's a lot of fun places, but I'm going to have uh, Cowboy Stadium. Just Casual? Yeah, and hey, you, I got to watch you there. That was pretty cool. That was a lot of fun. Come, yeah. You came to the Harvest America. That was, yeah. I wish I'd have come watch you ride bulls there. <laughs> okay, so we talked about mental preparation a little bit. How about when things don't go well? Um, I, I heard someone say, you know, I think it was Mike Tyson. It was a quote from Mike Tyson. Life's, it's all good to have a plan, and then you get punched in the mouth. Yeah. And what do you do when your plan doesn't go good? Uh, so, you know, you've, you've had your fair share of injuries. Maybe what, what's, get a, give us a litany of the injuries you've been through. Yeah, I've, uh, multiple concussions, uh, 
two shoulder surgeries, uh, Tommy John on my elbow. Could I, you describe a Tommy John for a friend of mine who doesn't know? Because I know. Yeah, that's basically where <laughs> you, you tear your ligament off the bone, and then oh, you God. tear the ligament oh. off the muscle, and then they got to basically reconstruct your whole elbow. Okay, and Tommy when – did you were you out when that happened, or were you – No, I, yeah, I was, it was uh, just my hands – got stuck in the rope and oh, it just jerked on gosh. it so hard that it ripped basically everything. okay because a lot of people don't know maybe pull that image back up when you're bull riding mm -hmm. your left hand's in the rope uh, my right hand is but it's it's whatever's more you can pick either one yeah but we get it so sticky like we use rosin sorry that was the thing just, that backstage yeah. i was really weirded out by yeah you guys were putting like <laughs> they, look, they, they put honey on their hands and they tie their <laughs> rope up on this thing and they're all backstage like running their hand up and down the rope getting it right. really, yeah, you want to get it really sticky because the bulls are so powerful. You don't just want to lose your hand or you'll get thrown out, thrown mm. really high. So you got to get it really sticky, Dang. but that gives the risk of maybe getting hung up where your hand gets stuck and you're getting. And some around. guys get stuck in like, that's what happened to you, and the bull just keeps going. Yeah. And yeah. thank God for those bullfighters. Well, the, the clowns, the, are they not clowns? No, yeah, well, that's kind of like they call it an entertainer. It used to be, but it's kind of changed. Bullfighters now. Yep. No one wants a clown running around. <laughs> Well, they dress like clowns, though. They used to. Oh, they now, don't anymore. Now they have like jerseys and they wear shorts and. Okay. Yeah. And they're still kind of like keeping the show moving and. Oh yeah, I mean, if a bull's gonna come and get us, they're gonna step in front of the bull to keep it so we can keep going down the road. And you were telling me those guys, you know, like they're they're literally between you and life and death. Oh yeah. And and their pay is nowhere near, obviously, what the you know the guys in the bulls are doing. And yeah. And it's like these guys are like you're like they're unsung heroes. Oh, in, yeah. that, in that world. Most definitely. That's Gosh. awesome. Okay, so so you your 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 Ron John got torn off your Han John and Tommy John, Tommy John and you know all this and obviously I, you've been through your fair share of that and the disappointment to go mm -hmm. from you know a place where you're riding well to it's like now this injury you know and and how, how do you come through that with the right perspective and spirit because you're speaking to people you know who are who are facing setbacks and and hardships from from divorce or you know their kids are on drugs or whatever it is what what have been some keys to your faith journey? I think it's just staying with the plan uh and hmm, that's with that's prayer good. and that's with him answering your prayers and telling you you know stick with it you know help if for instance like you said if your your kids or someone's bad on drugs just try to help them don't overly uh put too much on them but try to help them be there for them and just say hey this this isn't the answer maybe so let's try to go towards god and let's pray about it let's pray for you to maybe stop using these drugs and it's the same with anything else. Yeah, I think it just having him there to help you. Gosh, it's awesome. That's really good. I so love good. That. Stick to the plan. And yeah. there's you have tour dates left still. Are you are you still your season right now? Yeah, we're uh, we got just finals uh, seventh through eleventh of November. So Where's that? In Vegas. Okay, so if anyone listening in Vegas, November seventh through the eleventh. That's that's at the Forum. Uh, T-Mobile. T-Mobile Arena. Yep. Come out and see Matt ride some bulls. <laughs> it's funny too. The bulls have names. Oh, they yep. yep. And they have like trading cards. Yeah, like the have, bulls yeah. are like heroes. Oh, they're, yeah, they're fifty percent of the athletes as well. So yeah, that's 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 what you call them. Yeah. So at the events, like the bulls are athletes, yep. and it's not just like uh, the bull riders. It's how the the bulls get judged on their ride too, right? Yeah, they do. It's, it's how hard they kick and how fast they spin. They just don't know it. No one yeah. told them they're being ranked. <laughs> yeah. they're being judged and ranked and how fast they what the metrics are spin. Yep, and how, jump. How hard? Yeah, how high they kick and jump and. and you said they love it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like uh, my dad, he owns bulls and raises them. Uh, when he backs up the trailer to take them to an event, they're they're ready to go and, and they like, love good, their job. Good, because they're bred to do that. Yeah, yeah. And that's you said it's a pretty big industry, the, yeah, the breeding of yeah, them. Yeah, it's getting so big. They have, like, classic deals where they have a little dummy that they put on the babies, and they're making guys lots of money bucking them. Because it's like they know what attributes are in their grandfather. It's like yeah, the racehorse just, thoroughbreds. Exactly, yeah. Where they can say, okay, Secretariat and Seabiscuit yep. <laughs> and, okay, their their sire was blah, blah, blah. And they'll pay for the right to mate their bull with this. Because yep. this one jumped good, but this one was mad when he was, when it was Thursday. <laughs> and the combination's going to be, uh, I'm telling you, I had the most fun. There's flames. You go to these PBR events, there's flames. These, the bull riders on top of the shoots and the bullfighters to keep them oh. things going. There's a prayer. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's oh, a cool yeah. thing. It's awesome. I had a lot of fun. I, I think everyone should go. And if not, yeah. you should watch it at some point. But support Matt. Matt, on Twitter, what's your Twitter handle? Uh, I think it's triplet90. 
I like that Same it was a question, yep. not an answer. <laughs> and Matt, you just recently got engaged. I did. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. We're, we're super. Oh, there's super Matt and his uh, his uh, his fiance Sierra. Sierra. Yeah. Oh, super excited beautiful. about that. Very good. We're excited for you getting married next summer. All kinds of great things. Yeah. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks for yeah, helping thanks for our release. And you. you endorsed Eyes of a Lion. I remember that. That I was did. in the front of that book. Love and that book. We have some fun working out together. You're dang right. Yep. You're dang right. <laughs> I tell you what, I need. We the world needs more people like Matt Triplett yes. around. Always a good That's time. That's right. Thanks for being thank with us, bro. Yeah, appreciate you. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the good things that are coming. Appreciate you taking the time to visit me here on YouTube. Have a great day.